Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Jakargon back at it again, this time with a look at the Yoji Yamamoto Autumn Winter 24-25 show. As always, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comments are very, very much appreciated. And there's a pretty active Discord link down below if you'd like to join as well. So, the show just happened this morning in the year of our Lord 2024, and I was able to just catch up with it before, so it's fresh in my mind. And so, my initial thoughts on everything was, a lot of people in the show looked like they were somebody. I did recognize Norman Reedus. I have been playing Death Stranding very, very recently, so he's like, he's up here. But a few of the other people, towards the end of the show, and I suppose these are just my... This is just me musing on it before we start to look at all the outfits. But towards the end, perhaps maybe even the last outfit where it's a couple of people, uh, one the the guy was wearing a skirt type thing that said Wim Wendt. And I was thinking, Wim Wenders is a name that's very, very familiar. Where do I know that name from? Because it doesn't sound like a name that I should know. But looking into it further, I was like, Wim Wenders, Wim Wenders. And it turns out that he's the guy that did the doco with Yoji, like the, on Notebooks and Cities from like the late 80s. So that's cool. It was like, maybe that's him. Turns out it was him. Turns out there were a few people that were prominent in there, uh, such as, yes, Dolan Readers, Wim Wenders, and looking up a bit further, Warren Ellis, an Australian musician from The Dirty Three and Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds was there. He was the dude with the beard. So... As well as a photographer, let me double check their name because I I didn't know who this was. Um, sorry. Max Vatical is the name of the photographer. And so it was interesting seeing these people because you, you see them and you think, okay, there's something about this person that's getting a lot of attention to the outfit and their time. Maybe it's just them or maybe they're walking with someone else down the runway. So the show itself I thought was interesting because... As opposed to the usual, just straight down the line, turn around, come back that the shows have been doing the past few years, especially for the men's. There was like a little area they would turn off to, I suppose, to fit more people that they would go down and around to then come back into the main part as well, which is cool. There was like painting on the floor that would then creep up the back wall of like wooden planks, which looked really, really neat as well. The music is always, I really should have made a bingo card. And I was thinking, is he going to sing? He has to sing. He always has a song where he sings. The man himself, he's got to have it. At first, I was a little worried. We had a cover of Creep. And then he came in with the second one, sang us a song. Interesting choices. There was a Dua Lipa song in there. Uh, there was a Taylor Swift song in there. And there was a Little Drummer Boy cover as well. So seemingly on point and then the little drummer boy out of nowhere maybe a month too late i don't know but i just like that it's always these interesting interpretations of songs and that you know yoji gets out there into the studio and you know lays down some tracks and has a has a good time doing it i hope so i like to think he's having the time of his life in there <laughs> my overall thoughts i enjoyed it it's one of those ones similar to i think i've said before where immediately afterwards it's not sitting in a, in my brain as like something that I may be thinking about down the track. However, as we're going to go through all the pieces, all the looks, we'll see whether my opinion changes on that. And it probably will. I'll put it out there. Uh, things I recognized from the show, a lot of like leather trims in parts that remind me of older seasons. We have more pin accessories again. Instead of like spiders and things, we have feathers, which is really, really cool. Um, there was a whole section of like jackets over, sorry, not jackets of like, it's a jacket. Yeah. Of jackets over like long coats and things, which is kind of interesting because I recall on my recent trip to Japan that I went to one of the Yoji related places. I forget whether it was the Ground Y pop-up or the Yoji Seibu store, but they did say they were recommending it's like, oh, you know, like doing like a, a shorter jacket with a, a long shirt underneath is, is a very, very Yoji look, which to me, when they said that, I was thinking, I'm not that familiar with that look. Usually it's everything very long and try and get as many layers and drape as we go. But in this show, 
we got a whole section dedicated to that kind of thing. So that was really interesting to see too. I wonder how hot it is under all those layers, but they looked really, really neat. Uh, a lot of, you know, some more phrases, some more embroidery on tops and coats as well. I was very, very interested as usual in the shoes and we saw the demi boots on the runway again. Uh, we saw, I'm not sure who makes them. I'm not sure whether they are an in-house job or they're going to be like something that's outsourced to like Cherovich Kivichki, but they were like interesting demi type looking boots with ring detailings all through them that looked pretty cool. A few chunky pairs of boots with the very, very distinguishable yellow Vibram logo on the bottom. So when the people are walking back, you could tell it's a Vibram sole. So interested to see how the boots come through on this. And we'll look at them closely in the outfit photos, but I'm, I find myself more interested in the shoes of all things because it is a mixed bag when it comes to Yoji shoes. They are sometimes incredible and they are sometimes some of the most poorly constructed pieces of footwear you will ever encounter. And I'm looking at you, Demi Boots, because those shoes, I don't know how they still put them out each year because that sole falls apart almost immediately and there's no real way of repairing it properly. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So overall, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the music. I enjoyed the actions of the people walking down the runway. I think it's Wim Wenders who just sort of like shows up and just looks lost. And I love that. That makes me laugh so much. Uh, the companions on the runway, I think, are also famous people, potentially like dancers, like famous opera or ballet dancers. And Oh, before, before we get there as well, really, really cool. Seeing like couples come down the runway. Awesome. I was watching Le Mer earlier and was commenting to my friend Jazz. I really like how there's a lot of women on this runway, but I guess it wasn't necessarily a men's show. But this one being a men's show and seeing women come down the runway in looks that are not necessarily feminine or anything. It's just... It's nice to see that the clothing is being shown for different types of people, different ages of people. I wish we'd seen a bit more variation in body types, but it was still nice to just see different types of people going down the runway, doing their thing. And I loved the couples. I loved Wim Wenders just being, <laughs> just walking down. It's just sort of, I just love the, like the, what about like, did I just wake up with these clothes on? I was like, do I have to do this? Where am I? What do I have to do next? I'm hungry vibes. I really, really enjoyed that and love that it just adds playfulness to a runway, whereas the other ones are kind of just, you know, brooding, beautiful dudes walking down and staring at each other. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. Anyway, let's get to the looks. Okay. So look one, this lovely, almost monochrome gray number had me very confused and I'm still very confused about it because it looks like a blazer on the inside was attached to a coat on the outside, but then you only see half a long coat coming down. So I'm not sure whether that is one entire piece and whether there is the coat part over the top that is supposed to also be there too. I love the little spikes on the spikes, the little raised parts on the shoulders too, a nice little touch. And here we also see the ringed boots. I am so curious to see better photos of those when they do get released because you don't get to see a lot of the shoes in these. A nice a shirt underneath with what looks to be one of like the scarf shawl collars there. A great look to start off with. One of the ones, like I love looking at something and thinking I don't understand how it works and the entire time I couldn't get it. I thought it was a blazer buttoned to a coat on the outside but then seeing the coat only being half a coat just had me confused. But yeah, look one, a great start. Look number two, one of our fellas from past shows, I recognize this guy. Here we see a different type of these boots. I look like I've got a, a crepe sole with some ring detailing, some lacing going all over the place. Not the best photo, but some interesting shoes there. Some collapsed looking socks, a pair of long shorts with a long, Silk looking shirt could also be 
crepe de chine, I'm not sure, with these sort of streamer details on either side. Kind of remind me of like, of like a pin tuck shirt, but it's not pin tucking, is it? Because I can't quite tell whether they, these are like sewn in in an interesting way. It looks a lot longer, but has that interesting look to the shirt. I think it's part of the shirt rather than like an accessory you wear over your shoulders. And then this nice long coat with embroidery over the top and our first hat of this season. There are some cool hats coming up. I really like the embroidery of this coat, especially reminds me of, I think it's a last season or two seasons ago, just this long coat. I remember seeing it at the Tokyo flagship that looks and feels like a rug, but, it, but it's gorgeous and it's where it's super heavy as well. This one here gives me vibes of that, but I guess in a more structured, more fitted form rather than just like a large overcoat. Look number three, look at this hat. This beautiful leather, wide brim, yet a little deformed hat. It's so interesting, wide brimmed hats. I just have this connotation or association here in Australia with them, with playing cricket growing up. Yes, it's just a thing you do in Australia, but wearing a big wide brimmed hat is very normal with just, they just look silly in my opinion, these big white hats. And this kind of looks like one, except the, the brim is very deformed. And like, I guess, I don't know the names of hat parts, but the, the main part of it is exaggerated as well. Could it fit my head? Maybe. Here we have our first look at a print on a shirt. We see these, we see these images of women be repeated or just different versions of them across a lot of outfits in this season. Some striped trousers. But what's interesting here is underneath, we've got the coat, then we've got the shirt. And then underneath that, as you can see in their neck, they've got stripes that match the stripes on the trousers. Is this a, is this a jumpsuit? I don't, you can't tell, you don't know. But it could be, it could be. You could potentially even sleep in this. I don't know, we'll, we will find out, but it looks cool. And here we have an interesting look at some very, very simple shoes. Zooming in on them though, they do have that interesting sort of like middle to the side. It's not a side zip, off center zip in the middle of the shoe. Could they be an updated pair of the Guidis? Could they just be a pair of the Guidis from last season? We'll see, we'll see. That's fun though. Or it could be a new model. Look number four, we've got some lovely reddish monochrome vibes juxtaposed with this green. I'm going to call it a green. Love this hat. Looks very, very comfy. Love the material. And then this shiny material of the coat over the top looks really, really striking with the more mar maroon, maroon, magenta, magenta is too bright. Maroon top underneath. I love the colors in this one. I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, I really do like the colors in this one and the overall vibe of this look. So far, one of my favorites, and that is look four. Look number five, we have a coat that is very, very familiar looking with these long stripes. And if you've seen a previous video where I talk about my five girls for the year, there is a coat with these similar stripes that I'm looking out for. Does this have a reversible look inside? We're not sure. However, what stands out about this coat is that we have one lapel that comes across and it's not seemingly attached to the body of the coat. It's separate and it buttons across to the other side. So the lapels sit in shape as if the coat is closed, but the coat's open and you can push one part back or let it sort of like swing open. That is really cool. I don't know how that's going to attach underneath the lapel up the rest of the way, but that is a really interesting little detail there as well. Got sleeves rolled up, some wrist accessories, a lovely shirt, seemingly laid shirt. Perhaps it's a another shawl collar or it is a scarf on there with these embroidered details. Some pleated pants. They don't look too wide to be like a hakama, but they are pleated, again, looking silky or crepe de chine. Very, very nice texture to them. Some long socks, and then we have our demi boots. 
I feel like I've not seen the demi boots in a muted sort of leather finish before. So it's an interesting look. I just, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of these shoes, but it's nice to see them styled. And it's nice to see that there obviously is a lot of faith in them and someone really likes them. Would I say Yoji? Yeah, but I never see him wearing them. So who knows? Look six, look at this coat. We love a coat that basically touches the floor. I'm not sure how tall this person is, but I feel like if I was wearing it, it would be, touch it would be touching the floor. And that's awesome. Again, with the interesting laced shoes, we've got some sort of olive, very, very warm looking. Maybe it's the army gabardine, I'm not sure. Pants, a nice light shirt with a double collar. Love the double collar shirts. Some really, really cool looking glasses. Very, very interested to find out whether these glasses are produced in-house or a collaboration as well. Couple of chopsticks through the bun. And just look at all these buttons on this jacket. It does look like the inside is not lined. Well, not lined with a traditional sort of cupro, but it has like a wool finish that looks like it has a design on it. So I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that this coat has a beautiful design on the inside and it is reversible too. So hold out for that one. Honestly, looking at this closer, we do see that there's button holds on both sides of the coat. So I reckon, yeah, that reversible thing could be a shoeing. Cause why else would you have that? Unless you were to just button one side open. We'll find out, we'll find out. Look number seven, another lovely looking hat with the rolls up on the side. Another of these embroidered coats, which looks like only has one side that has a lapel. However, perhaps the opposite side is just folded in. Cannot tell for sure. It does look a bit folded though. So that could just be a style, stylistic choice. Uh, a first vest. And then we have an interesting shirt underneath. The buttons towards the neck of the shirt make me think it might be one of those modular power of the white shirt type deals, but we'll see as well. It's a mesh hanging out from beneath the shirt. This, these bottoms, which I don't know, and these ring boots, tall boots with a lot of straps. And these are the Vibram Soul ones. These are very, very cool boots. I can't wait to see more of them. Look number eight, we have this gorgeous long coat and this one has to be reversible because look at the leather on the inside. You wouldn't just do that all the time. We have this lovely little design, I guess on the inner, that, so it's been worn reverse with then the leather details peeking out, which is really cool. A vest, this beautiful chain across the chest detail there. I'm not sure what this is a part of, whether it's part of the coat, the vest, the shirt, or it's just a necklace. I'm not sure. I do not know. For bottoms, I don't know. I can't tell what these are. They look polyester -y or some interesting cotton. I have no idea. <laughs> I can't tell. Perhaps a skirt. And then these shoes as well. I would say these shoes, along with the demi boots, are probably my least favorite. I will need to will need to get better photos, but these ones look super, super flimsy to me. But we'll see. Very, very cool look. This leather jacket, geez, I, I wonder how much it's gonna cost, my goodness. Look number nine. So this is something that made me think of Japan. Before I go any further though, this is the photographer. This is Max Vadakul. I am pretty sure I'll be walking down the runway here. And so this coat that he's wearing, in Japan I tried on a coat from quite a few years ago that had these sort of leather lapels and details throughout. And it just made me think of this quite a bit. So it took me back. We see some very interesting mesh gloves, these brown boots that remind me of the hiking boots. Not the, what the hiking boots? I had a pair of these. I think they were from quite a few years ago and both myself and somebody else I know from the Discord that had gotten a pair, they both fell apart. So <laughs> yeah, just a thing where it make, I see them and then it gets alarm bells. 
What's cool about these shoes though is the laces. You see that the laces kind of go into the center of the shoe and then loop in. What an interesting finish. I, I have no idea how that works, but that's a very cool detail. So hopefully we get some more photos of those soon. Some lovely comfy looking pants. Another of the similar embroidered motif of the shirt that was seen as a jacket earlier. And then some cool glasses, a lovely hat, and this neck detail of the shirt. It's kind of shiny. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a, like a fang out there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, whether it's a pin or part of the shirt. Let's go to look 10. So look 10, we see Wim Wenders, director, director. And it is just very much worth watching the video for this because he looks so lost. And the lady with him, I don't know who she is, but she approaches, he's like aloof walking down the runway and she approaches from behind and like comes and like links arms with him and guides him the rest of the way. It was pretty cool. Let's start off with her outfit. Lovely white hat. We've got this really nice blazer with a lot of buttons with the sleeves folded out. These knee length shorts. Don't see a lot of knee length Yoji shorts, so I like these. And our first look at these black and white shoes that I'm initially not much of a fan of. They remind me of bowling shoes. Even though they don't look like bowling shoes, they could be pretty comfy. Sneaker with like a interesting rugged vibrant sole, but a cool outfit overall with a nice shirt underneath too. Wim on the other hand, and I guess on the other hand because she's anyway, in her, in her hand. Wim over here is wearing a, another pair of the glasses that we have seen before. This white collar that is popping out from, I don't know how this is working here, whether there's multiple shirts underneath this, because there's a white collar that's up and then it looks like there is a shawl underneath for a shirt. Then this vest with lots of straps hanging down, many, many buttons and pockets on said vest. You can see a long shirt poking out underneath, some nice trousers. A look at this pair of shoes, which I feel we haven't seen quite yet. Just leather shoes with a creeper sole and seemingly like bungee ties for the laces. Then the standout is just this long coat with these blue pinstripes on the sleeves, but then along the bottom, it kind of folds out. I'm not sure how this works, whether that's how it's supposed to look or that's how it's been styled. But then the, it's instead of blue, we've got red stripes. So a couple of points of color that you can, you know, really dip your teeth into when looking at this. And yeah, really, really great in motion. They just walk very slowly down the runway. It was very, very sweet. I enjoyed it a lot. Look 11, we have this very, very cool look at one of these vests with the ties. We see these vests at least a couple more times down the runway, tucked into like a long, I guess that it's a skirt, but the buttoning makes me think otherwise. I'm not sure. With a long blazer and a nice hat on top and these white, it's so difficult. It's like shoes or sneakers because they've got these like chunky, not sneakery soles. These shoes with very oversized tongues that sort of fold over the front. Not sure the reference here, but it does make me think of how you can get the out of their sambas with the really, really oversized tongues that fold forward. But here they're not completely folded there. On their way, they're on their way forward. So it's a cool look. I like the vest most of all. I like the finish on it there. And just, yeah, just so casual, so easy, so easy. Look 12. We have our first introduction into the jackets over coats or long shirts. This is a beautiful leather jacket. As soon as I saw it, I was wondering, is this backlash? And I'm not entirely sure. The hardware is interesting because it's zips, not just at the end of like the zip track, the zips hang off a chain at the end of each zip track, which is pretty interesting. I wonder how durable that is, but we shall see. Zips galore. And under we've got this long shirt with then, oh, it must be a coat because underneath the shirt, the lapels of it look like they're wool. So it's a reversed worn inside out. And then we've got like this red shirt underneath. It's hard to tell. Some wool trousers and then these bungee cord looking boots as well. 
The jacket though, that jacket's really cool. Like the cropped length of the jacket too. Look, 13. So similar type of jacket, could it be the exact same jacket just in a different material? Potentially. It does look very, very similar. And we have this lovely pattern on the material of the jacket. We see another coat that again, it looks like all these things can be reversed. And then the green of the pants matches the green of the jacket for a very, very nice touch there as well. I like this guy's hair. Look 14. We have a look that looks like it could probably end me. Look at all this wool and just rough looking textures. It makes me uncomfortable looking at it. I think it looks okay, but I can't get past the fact that I could never even put this on. Like it'd be all over. But I do like the stripes. I'm sorry, I just can't. It's hard to see the rest with it. I'm just thinking. I can only imagine being super uncomfortable in this. But yeah, muted. It feels like I'm looking at one of those images where you can't tell what anything is. And I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing. So I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide. Look 15, we have another bun hairstyle. This time another jacket with underneath, we have another coat underneath the jacket. Okay, yeah, so it's a the jacket, the coat, shirt, pants. The pants match the jacket. And then we have these chunky shoes as well. The shirt here with this sort of tie-dye finish, I think makes the look stand out a lot. I think without it, it'd be a bit, as before, hard to distinguish what is actually happening. So I think the shirt's doing a lot of pulling the weight of this fit here, which is cool. I like it though. Yeah, it's a cool shirt. All these clothes look so warm. Probably too warm for, for the winters we get here in Australia. Look 16. This beautiful, gorgeous leather jacket. I yeah, really wonder whether it is like who these are collaborations with or whether they're just Yoji because there are ongoing collaborations with Backlash. So I wonder whether these are Backlash jackets. Another coat. This one doesn't look like it's reversed. Tie-dye shirt. These really interesting looking pants. I can't tell what material that is. Potentially leather? I'm not sure whether Put Om does pleather, but... Lots of shiny in this look too. Yeah, the jacket over a coat. I've done blazer over a coat. Jacket, uh, I just don't, yeah. It just never, it just rarely gets cold enough to do something like this, but it's cool. I, I do like, I do like how it looks. Look 17, I love this. Again, probably would end me, but look at these, just the lines of the fabric. Kind of fuzz my eyes out, but really cool jacket. I wonder if you can wear the jackets reversible at all. But the jacket matching the pants, these shoes with the D-rings that it looks now, we haven't seen them this high. So they're quite a tall boot. And it looks like the, the strap is what holds the boot together. Otherwise it sort of bursts open. So you can, you know, put your pants in there. These are super cool boots. Styled really well. I wouldn't know how to style them without seeing something like this. Another tie-dye shirt, this long, looks like a light jacket underneath. But we can see here that the pants, as we said before, have the same material as the jacket, but then we have the coat and underneath the coat is something with the same material as the jacket and the pants. So what is that? I don't know, but maybe it's, maybe it's another jumpsuit type situation that we're in here. Still very cool. Moving on to look 18. This one was our first look at some text on the clothes, which is something I feel like we're starting to just look forward to every season because it's a very common theme of just, you know, what's Yoji been up to? What are they going to put on the coats and things this time? So I like what t-shirt. I like white t-shirt. This coat with like leather, these embroidered words on it. They're wearing this interesting little tiny muffler that I'm not sure is part of the shirt or if it's just a piece of fabric with a button that they're just tying their nice wide trousers and the demi boots. The gloves, love them. Love how the thumb is just independent of the rest of it. Just oh, 
so cool. I really liked this look a lot. Look 19, Norman Reedus appearing. Similar to the coat from before, but it's a blazer this time. And here we see that the shirt itself has that frayed collar. So perhaps from before, that is actually just the collar of the shirt, but just buttoned up to be a stand collar. Some wide trousers and then these white sneaker boots too. I think the hat really, really does a lot here. There's just, oh, just such nice hats and feel like every season we're going to look at these and be like, oh, none of these hats will ever fit me, but we like them. We still like them and that's okay. And that's okay. A very, very casual. I feel like this is a simple look that people see and be like, that's a Yoji look. Just off the bat, just off the bat. Look 20, we see our photographer friend again, coming down this time in a couple's runway walk. Some more embroidery on tops in these sort of cream beige colors. We see the brown boots on him and then on her some, I can't tell whether like sneaker boots again, some interesting shoes. Is this a pair of brown hakama? It looks like it. I'm not sure what the material is because it's a bit, perhaps like linen? I'm not sure, but it looks a bit wrinkly. In a, in, not in a bad way, in a, in, a, in a good way. Her undercoat thing has a hood. And I'm not sure what she's wearing under that. I guess like a deep V shirt. But I love this as a couple. Look, like it's just, just matchy matchy. Just so fun. Some cool glass as well. And then embroidery on the shirt. Can't read it, unfortunately, because we never saw it completely open. But yeah, another great couple's look. Look 21, just a giant coat, almost floor length, embroidery all over, pants that match the coat, then a vest that sort of crosses over in the center with a long shirt underneath with a French tuck. You can see one side of the shirt is hanging down, the other side is not. These sneaker boots. I wonder in what situation anyone would wear this coat. I'm a messy eater. I... I, I, I try to be, I mean, I think that I am generally clean when I eat, but this would be something I could not wear to any place where there would be consumption of food because it would get dirty immediately. I like the textures of this though. It's very, very cool. I'd love to see it in person and see what it feels like to, to touch and whether or not it would be comfortable. Look 22, we see Warren Ellis coming down the runway with a companion and these lovely matching gloves. This, the standout part of this though, is the vest that the lady is wearing. Look at this beautiful vest. This has to be backlash. If it is a backlash, then I'm wrong. I'm wrong, but just oh, the amount of buttons, the, the finish of, of it all, the stand collar, it's just so cool. What a great piece. Uh, otherwise, the, we've seen like a long black coat. I think they're wearing very, very similar pants, just with different embroidery on them. He's wearing a blazer instead of a coat with a similar style. And then a shirt with, I'm not sure what you call it, but I have a sight shirt, a long sight shirt that has a similar like laid button track. It's not in red though, but it's black on black, but I'm not sure what you call that part, but it's a nice little detail there. The red socks with a lower version of the bungee shoes are a neat look. And for hers, I'm gonna guess they're maybe the, the Guidis, I can't tell. You can't tell because you can only see the tips of the shoes, but very, very cool. That vest, that vest, I would say is probably the standout piece for me out of the entire, entire show. Amazing. I wish we could see more of it. Look 23, another couple's look. Look at all the buttons. I don't know what it is about buttons. Like, put a lot of buttons on something, I'm in. Sign me up, let's go. We have here on the right wearing top with a lot of buttons. As we can see, also has this chain zip detail. So could it also be from the same people? I'm gonna guess yes. It has to, they have, they have got it. Surely they're backlash, right? They have to be. We see these mesh pieces of fabric draping off both shirts here. I like how they're holding hands. Here we see like a vest, like a stand collar vest underneath the white shirt on the left and some interesting pants with potentially buttons on them. Demi boots on the right, on the left, 
It's another pair of boots. I can't quite make them out, but the look on the right though, those buttons, just the buttons are really, really doing a lot of work. Look 24, we see more of this sort of mesh finish just drapes all over this model here. A very simple look compared to some of the other ones we've seen with like a long blazer type thing, lots of buttons too. Some whitish pants, then these cross lace sneakers and a white shirt. The glasses though here, as well with that accessory of the mesh, really, really do make the look stand out. I wonder if it's chain mail, not mesh. I just can't quite see properly, but this scarf kind of looks like it could be chain mail, which is super cool. Look 25, I guess we're gonna call it chain mail. We've got like this draped chain mail thing over the top, another blazer with wide pants and the bungee cord shoes here as well. Black collar on the white shirt with mesh. I think this part is mesh hanging off this shirt as well here. This is the person from look one, I'm pretty sure. Look 26, really do like the cream here. And we have our first look at the pins, these feathers that are just pinned all over, I think are just so nice. I wonder how much they're gonna cost individually because having a lot of them just looks really, really beautiful on the pieces. These interesting straps on the shoulders and this floppy hat on top, which I just could never pull off a hat like this. I feel I would look to patron of the arts in a way that if someone asked me something about the arts, I couldn't give them an answer. And I don't wanna be put in that position because I don't like, <laughs> Fish out of water, be like, I'm sorry, I just thought this hat was really cool. I didn't think it would say such a thing. Look 27, this one stood out to me as well. I'll let you guess why. It's whatever this neck thing is. Looking like a, a scythe across the neck and then behind it is just like chains. I'm not sure how it was all attached. Very, very cool. We've got a couple of um, cuffs as well to like the cream top and bottoms, white shoes, and then a black shirt with white accents. Lovely hat as well. This is, it's just an interesting look overall. Could never wear it because it is a bit too cream and will get dirty, but I love this accessory. I need to know what it is immediately. Look 28, very, very slouchy, relaxed. Look at this. We've got some more feather pins all over. We see a potentially black feather pin in the middle as well. This interesting shirt where we can't really tell what's going on because it's white, but then it has this large black piece of fabric. I'm not sure whether that's a different piece coming across there. The tops and bottoms are matching. They are cuffed a little bit. And then we see the bowling shoes as well. I like the glasses. These are cool tops and bottoms. I like the finish of it. Where you can just see like all the horizontal stripes that I'm not sure what you call this material, but could either be very, very comfy or awful, but we can see that in the cuffs where one is rolled up, there is lining for that jacket as well. So regardless, it will be comfy. Look 29, another interesting neck type accessory, very lovely blazer and pants with the bowling shoes. They're, they're really pushing these shoes. A lovely shirt underneath here. Not the biggest fan of this. I guess it's just kind of similar to the top before. It's something that I think in person is trying to just learn and figure out what that material is to get hands on and see what it feels. That's what I know about. I want to know about this rather than actually, you know, wearing it, I suppose. Look 30, this one was pretty neat. We have this huge coat, velvety type coat over the top, looks very expensive. But then underneath we have a hooded vest. I feel like you could never pull off a hooded vest without a layer over the top. Then under that, we've got a shirt, some interesting material looking pants as well with some, I don't know what the shoes are. I don't like them though, but it's this, it's this gorgeous coat over the top. Looks so warm, so big, so easy to layer, expensive. It's going to be so expensive. I can picture it now, but this is a very, very cool, just, I don't know, it just seems so casual and nondescript. I don't know whether anyone would notice you in this walking down the street. I love it. Look 31, we have more of these zips on chains. So we're gonna have to find out sooner or later who is making these because I'm not really familiar with Backlash making this kind of thing. So we'll see what happens. But it looks like this zip, it's a double zip. 
jacket opens up quite a lot at the neck. I don't know whether that's a hood or it's just a big, I don't know what you call it, just like spurts out. This coat over the top looks like it'd be weather resistant or at least rain resistant. We'll see. And now we have on shoe, on foot, on shoes, on foot, it looks like the bowling shoes, but in an all black. So less bowling, more, more just shoes that you wear. Not my favorite. Okay, look 32, the return of Norman Reedus. Now I would have to say that out of all the looks, this is the one I really liked the least. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but we've got this shirt, which has some interesting inner lining designs on it. The vest from earlier, which I think Wim Wenders was wearing in white, now in this beige with black straps, a red shirt underneath, purple pants, red socks, and the bungee cord shoes in a low version. Oh, this was actually a skirt, it wasn't pants. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this one. It was, I think maybe, maybe because Norman Reedus looked very uncomfortable walking down the runway in this. Maybe that's how they directed him to do it, but it, I just didn't, I didn't like it. But it's okay if you do, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Look 33, what a look to follow it up with. This gorgeous top. I don't know how you achieve this finish, whether it is just dyed in this interesting way, but I need to see this in person. Look at the buttons as well. Ah, oh, just the details on this top are amazing. We have another interesting corset piece underneath, but just peeking out from the shirt with all the, the strings, these pants that are being held up with suspenders and then the dang boots. This was interesting. The next few looks of people wearing pants with suspenders. I feel like suspenders can make you look like you're just wearing like comically large pants that just need to be held up. So some of these looked a bit silly in motion to me, but I suppose maybe that's just part of it. Perhaps you could like solve it a bit better by wearing a coat over the top, but, or you could just get pants that do not fit as comically oversized, but you know, it's up to you. It's up to what you want to achieve. Cause we go to look 34 and we see this huge skirt being held up by these suspenders. I love the blouse with this sort of pixelated flower motifs, another like leather corset strap thing, but then just the suspenders and the, the skirt being so big, just so, just being so wide is kind of just throws me off. So I wonder, I wonder what they're gonna be like in person. Look 35, we have Warren Ellis again <laughs> in the suspenders with the, it just, it, they just don't look properly fitted, but look, I, I'm just not familiar with looking at people in clothes like this. It would be so comfy though, so comfy. So maybe I'm coming, I'm coming around. A very, very old school looking shirt. I'm not sure what's being worn underneath, perhaps another shirt. Cause you can see there's a little bit of a poking out part up on the collar there. And again, these shoes that I look more sneakery the more I look at them. Very, very comfy look. Look, 36. Again, another one of these gorgeous, potentially dyed blouses. I need to see this in person to find out whether it's dyed or not, because they just look amazing. The wide trousers, again, held up by suspenders and the corset-y underpart. These looks are so cool. I will just change the pants and then we're on our way. We're on our way. Then we have our final look, Wim Wenders again with new friend. Again, we have these gorgeous flower print blouses. Wim is wearing two layered and the person on the right here has got the leather corset thing. I don't know what to call it. I don't know the name of that piece underneath, but what is interesting here is that the suspenders then have just like a cross part holding them together. It's a cool, cute little detail as well. Skirt on the left, pants on the right, pants, potentially another skirt on the right. Very, very cool. The hats, the glasses, just so good, so good. And then finally, we have the man himself, Mr. Yoji Yamamoto, wearing his red wings. It's a, it's a red, it's, I love seeing what shoes he decides to wear. He's very on this red wings vibe with the very chunky heel, nice floppy hat. And then the doctor's coat, sleeves rolled up, very simple pants, always just, well, basically just wearing the same thing season after season, after season, after season. 
Love it. So yeah, they are all the look. After going through all that and chatting about them all, I think overall, yes, I did enjoy it. I think I enjoyed more the presentation rather than the pieces on show. I really liked the styling. I really liked the styling for the most part and the soundtrack. And I think it, I think it was a good show. I'd like to see a lot of the pieces in person. So hopefully the only place here that stocks Yoji Masons will get some in and I can go in and have a look to just see them before they sell to all the, the Yoji heads here and see whether or not my opinion changes on some of them. I really, really want to know who's been making the leathers. That red vest is so nice. So good. Easily the standout piece. Uh, also want to find out who did all the painting designs as well for the earlier looks. So yeah, overall a good show. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the music. I'm looking forward to seeing the pieces in the wild, finding out more about the shoes, especially and seeing who collaborated on the pieces. But yeah, what did you think? Vibes, not vibes. Is there anything that stood out to you? Did you like the second Norman Reedus look? Because I, I just didn't. I just, I keep remembering it because I didn't like it. So Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. It was fun going through this. Um, until the next one, you all take care, have fun, be safe. And as always, don't do anything I'd do, except please find out who makes these leathers. We've got to find out the little chain and the, and the zip hanging off. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. All right. Until next time. Bye-bye.